Osio Nigod. Um, hello, my name is Wade Blevins, and welcome to Beginner Cherokee um, here on RSU TV. So uh, today uh, we're going to learn uh, some basic introductions, and and I'm going to be talking uh, to you a lot in Cherokee. So um, if we can go ahead and look at my computer, we'll go ahead and get started. So um, in the beginning here we have Osio. This is our language. This is our the written form of our language developed by Sequoia. Underneath that it says Akui Chalaki Atelo Kwaste First Cherokee Lesson. So uh, this is the very first lesson. Hopefully you'll be with us for the entire journey. So um, how I want you to watch these classes might be a little bit different than the way that you uh, watch uh, or have taken other classes. Uh, I don't want you to concentrate on memorizing or on learning. Uh, I want you to concentrate on comprehending my message. Um, and uh, subconsciously, all that language, all that input will get in there for you and eventually you'll be able to produce it yourself. So all I want you to do is concentrate on the meaning of what I'm telling you and what we're talking about. Uh, don't worry about memorizing, don't worry about uh, making lists or notes or anything like that. And most importantly, I just want you to have a good time. So um, we will go ahead and begin. Italena. Chalaki itiwoni. Let's talk Cherokee. First thing we're going to learn is uh, uh, that means yes. The next thing that we are going to learn is kla, kla, that means no. So uh and kla, and you'll see there, you see the uh, syllabary for that. Um, so the first thing um, that usually uh, when you encounter a Cherokee speaker, the first thing that they will ask you is your name. So you will say, Da Wadong. So I will say, Wade Blevins, Da Wadong. Wade Blevins, Da Wadong. Wade Blevins is my name. Usually they will ask you, Gato Usti, De Chatong. Gato Usti means what? Dejetong means is your name. Now there are lots of different ways to, um, to say this depending on your community. Sometimes they'll say Sometimes they'll say Sometimes they'll say Sometimes they'll say But all of that all means what is your name. And then when you're talking about somebody else, you'll say do don't, do don't, okay? So here we have a woman, we have a gay and we also have a man, a gay a gay a gay All right, so da is my name, de is your name, do don't is his or her name, Agehya, woman, Ashkaya, man. All right, so up here in the top, you can see Gata'usti. Uh, Gata'usti means what? So um, here you see our syllabary, and here's a question for you. So Gata'usti, or what, do do'a, is the name na agayi. Agayi means First, agui means first, just like we had agui jalagi lesson. Agui means first. Ugawi yuhi, ugawi yuhi means chief. It can also mean leader. The last word there we have is amayetli. Amayetli, amayetli means America. So gata usti du do na agui. What is the name of the first leader of America? Okay, so here's a question for you. What 
Hopefully, in your mind or out loud, you answered George Washington, do dong. George Washington, do dong. George Washington is his name. George Washington, do dong. Ah, go ye, go we you he. Ah, ma ye tli. George Washington is the name of the first leader of America. Here's another question. Gata usti. Gata usti means what? Du don. Du don is the name. Na a of the first. A gehya. A gehya is woman. A gehya. So what is the name of the first woman? Uga wi yuhi. First woman leader. Jalagi a yetli. Of the Cherokee Nation. Jalagi a yetli. Gata usti du don. Na a gehi a gehya. Uga wi yuhi. Jalagi a yetli. I'll say the question one more time. Gata usti du don. Na a gehi a gehya. Uga wi yuhi. Jalagi a yetli. And of course, that person. Wilma Mankiller, do don't. Wilma Mankiller, do don't. Wilma Mankiller was her name. Now, a lot of older speakers would put Wilma Mankiller, jigesa, do don't. That jigesa just indicates that somebody has passed on, that they're no longer living. Um, it's uh, something that I used to hear as a kid growing up when they would talk about people who have already passed. Now, if they've been gone a long, long time, they won't. They wouldn't use that. But um, if if their uh, passing was fairly recent, especially, they would use jigesa for that. So woman man killer jigesa du don na agui agesha uga wi yuhi jalagi ayetli. Okay, here's another one. Kato usti. What is kato usti? Means what? Du don is the name Agui of the first. Askaya. Askaya. Agehya means woman. Askaya means man. So Gata Usti Duto Agui Askaya. What is the name of the first man? Nerto. Nerto can either mean the sun or it can mean the moon. Okay? So um, so what is the, fir, the name of the first man, and then sun or moon, so the, the next word will probably tell us what we're looking for. So, jiwu we do le yi, jiwu we do le okay, jiwu we do le yi. That means to walk around, so jiwu we do le yi means he or she's walking, walked around. So um, I don't think we've ever had anyone who's walked on the sun. So this must be um, walked on the moon. So kata usti tu to a gai askaya na to jiwu we to le. So what is the name of the first man who walked on the moon? And the answer is Neil Armstrong do to. Neil Armstrong do to. Good job. You guys are so smart. Okay? So now moving on, we, we, we know the word that chalagi means Cherokee. If you use the word ganti after it, it means using Cherokee. Chalagi ganti. Yonegi. Yonegi ganti means using English. Yonegi ganti. Yonegi is English or Caucasian, yonegigati, means using English or the language of Caucasian people. And then, of course, we have our question word, gato or gato usti. Okay? So this says, yonegigati wade dawadon. Yonegigati wade dawadon. So using English, Wade is my name. Yonegikati Wade Dawadong. Jalagikati using Cherokee 
unole tawaton chalaki kanti unole tawaton so using cherki unole is my name chalaki kanti unole tawaton unole by the way just means wind so So let's ask a couple of questions using those two statements. Yonegi kanti we dawaton. Chalaki kanti unole dawaton. So if I ask, kata usti dawaton chalaki kanti. Kata usti dawaton chalaki kanti. Your answer would be unole, unole. So you see this, uh, this sentence is a little bit different than what you might expect. There's a, a little extra sound on there. Na, when you put that on the end of a word, it means what about. So when I say na, means what about in English? So what about English? What is my name? Wade. Wade da wadong. Wade da wadong. So those questions again. Kato usti da wadong chalagi kanti. Kato usti da wadong chalagi kanti. ウスティタワトンチャラキガンティウノレウノレタワトンチャラキガンティヨネギガンティナカトウスティタワトンヨネギガンティナカトウスティタワトンウェイドウェイタワトンヨネギガンティオスタオスタ all right, so um, we're going to learn uh, a little song today. So um, a lot of times music will help you remember words. So um, today's focus is, is on da wa don, do don, de zi don, um, to be named. So this says jalagi kanogishki. Kanogishki means song. Jalagi means Cherokee. So we have it in phonetics for you, and it's just co, co. Okay, so CO is a shortened way of saying OCO. So in, um, in our language, uh, we can shorten a lot of our words. So OCO means hello. CO also means hello. So um, uh, depending on the circumstances or depending on the speaker, you'll hear them say either OCO or they might say CO. Is a question asking, What is your name? And then it's uh, here it is in syllabary. CO, CO, Katausti, Dezatong. And then there's a blank, Dawatong, and another blank, Dawatong. And so then you put your name in there, and then you put Dawatong at the end. So, so I would say, Wei Dawatong. Then the very last sentence says, Ginali ge sesti. Ginali ge sesti. Ginali means friends. Ginali means friends. Ge sesti means it will be. So this is like saying, let's be friends. Ginali ge sesti. All right. So um, if we could. Uh, turn away from the computer for just a second. Um, I'm going to show you some actions to help you with this. So um, actions uh, also help our brains remember vocabulary. So music and, um, and uh, gestures, both are our memory devices to help us learn. So uh, when we do this song, CO, we're just going to wave. So CO, CO, hello, hello. Gato usti, gato usti. This means what? Kato usti. Dejatong. Okay? Kato usti dejatong. 
All right? So, CEO, CEO, got the usti de jadong. We're going to repeat that twice in the song, okay? And then you'll point to yourself and say your name. So, for me, it'd be Wade, Dawadong, Wade, Dawadong. And then, Ginali, in um, sign language, you take your hooked, hooked fingers and you switch them. Ginali, ge sesti. Ginali, ge sesti. Okay, so um, I'll, um, I'll sing this for you, Didi Nogi. Didi Nogi means let's sing. So Didi Nogi, Sawu Tal Jong. Si yo, si yo, kado usti de jadon. Si yo, si yo, kado usti de jadon. Way down with do, way down with do, kinali ke sesti. All right, so it's very easy, right? It's a very, very easy song. Uh, I know it may sound or seem um, really simple or um, like, like a little kid, but you know, when we're learning a new language, we're like a little kid. And so these, um, these techniques will help you remember. So, um, so I know, um, so try not to feel uh, silly or, or stupid. You know, you can lock yourself in the bathroom or whatever you need to do to, um, to uh, practice this, but um, it will help you if you put it into music or if you do gestures with it. So um, I'll sing it for you one more time, okay? So, Didi Noki Sawutal Jong. Si yo, si yo, kado usti de jadon. Si yo, si yo, kado usti de jadon. Wait on, wait on, wait on, wait on. Kinali ge sesti. Osta, osta. Okay, if we could go back to the computer real quick, we'll look over those words one more time before we move on. So it says, si yo, si yo, got the usti te zetong. Si yo, si yo, got the usti te zetong. Wei da wadong, wei da wadong. Kinali ge sesti. All right, so now you can. Um, have that song running around in your head for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so this is a, a little uh, joke. And so I'm going to tell you the joke first. Uh, this is a joke all in Cherokee. So I'm going to tell you the joke first. And um, then we're um, going to... Uh, go over it one by one. So now um, you'll be able to tell a joke all in Cherokee. So um, the joke goes, Michael, uno se le jane, giolega ashka ya sawu adaha ganasadud smith du dong, jane udane, gata usti du dong, so i kanashkeni. Um, for some reason, the, um, the last part of that, um, that uh, sentence got, got taken off. But um, the Sesoni Kanashkeni. Uh, All right, so uh, probably right now you're like, oh, I don't recognize anything except for do don't. Hopefully, you did recognize do don't. So I'll read it again to you really, really slow. Michael, uno se le Jane, Giolik. Ashkaya, Sawu Adaha, Ganasadud, Smith, Du Doa, Jane Udane, Kata Usti Du Don, Son I Kanaskini. All right, so let's figure out what this joke is actually saying in Cherokee, okay? So the first word, Uno Sele, Uno Sele, that means he or she told him or her. So, uno se le, uno se le, means, so, Michael uno se le, Jane. Michael told Jane. Okay, Michael uno se le, Jane. Geolig, geolig means I know somebody, so, or I know him, or I know her. So, geolig, I know. And then the next word is ashkaya, which we already know means man. Ashkaya means man. Sawu, sawu means one. 
Sawu means one. Then the next word, adaha, adaha, wooden. So chiyo lig ashkaya sawu adaha. I know a man, one wooden. And then the next word, gana sadud, gana sadud, is something used in place of a leg, okay? So um, it, it literally indicates like something's hanging off of something else, you know, just as a, a prosthetic limb would, would hang off of the, um, the appendage. So ganesatud um, is a word that we use, um, something used in place of a leg. Ganesatud, ataha ganesatud. And then Smith do don. So that first sentence says, Michael uno se le chain. Chioleg askaya sawu adaha ganasadud smith du don. So Michael told Jane, Chioleg askaya, I know a man. Sawu adaha ganasadud with one wooden leg, smith du don, named Smith. So um, then Jane udane. And you might have guessed that udane means said. So udane, Jane udane, Jane said. Gata usti du don, what is the name? Son i means the other. Son i, or son, you can say son. Kanushkan, kanushkan means leg. So Jane udane, gata usti du don. So Jane said, what is the name of the other leg? So um, there's a little bit of a dad joke there for you. Um, but um, it helps us. Um, it has the words that we're working on today. So it has do, don, do, don in there. So I'm going to tell it to you one more time in Cherokee. Michael uno se le Jane. Chioleg Ashkaya Sawu Adaha Ganesatud Smith Du Don Jane Udane Gata Usti Du Don So Kanashkan. So um, I actually heard this joke. Uh, I was watching um, a um, uh, Mary Poppins with my five year old niece, and um, this joke was on there. And, and I thought, well, I wonder if I could tell that joke in Cherokee and it would make sense. Some jokes that um, we tell in English, when you put them into Cherokee, they, they don't make any sense. But this one does make sense. So um, I told it to um, um, a good friend of mine and, and, uh, and she laughed. So, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure it's the funniest joke in the world, but um, it gets our job done as of um, exposing you to the language. So, all right. So uh, we're going to go over all the things that we um, have gone over today. Okay, so um, we've done quite a bit. So the first word, agayi, agayi. Agayi means first. Agayi means first. Chalaki, chalaki, chalaki means Cherokee. Adelo kwasti, adelo kwasti. Adela Kwasti. That means lesson. So Akayi Chalaki Adela Kwasti means first Cherokee lesson. That was the very first thing that we saw today. Italena. Italena means let's start or let's begin. Okay. Itiwoni. Itiwoni. Let's talk or let's speak. So if I say chalaki itiwoni, that means let's speak Cherokee. If I say yonegi itiwoni, let's speak English. Yonegi itiwoni, let's speak English. Uh, uh, that means yes. Uh is yes. Kla, kla. No. Dawadong, Dawadong 
is my name, Wade Dawadon. Wade Dawadon, yo nagi ganti. Chalagi ganti no unole Dawadon. Right? Unole Dawadon. De ta don. De ta don. De ta don is your name. So somebody might ask you, Kata usti, de ta don. Kata usti, de ta don. What's your name? Du don. Du don. Du don means his or her name. Kata usti, du don. Kata usti, du don. What is his or her name? Yonega. Yonega is Caucasian or um, uh, English or um, um, white, you might say. <laughs> Yonega. Ganti. Ganti means using. So Yonega Ganti. Yonega Ganti means using English. Chalaki Ganti. Chalaki Ganti means using English. Cherokee, right? Our question word for today was kato usti. Kato usti. Kato usti means what? Then we learned the word for chief or for leader. Can also be used for um, president. So uga we yuhi. Uga we yuhi. Uga we yuhi. You hear this word. Um, in a lot of Cherokee hymns, they say, Jaika we yuhi, means you are the leader or you are the chief. So talking about une tlana. Ama yetli, ama yetli, ama yetli. That means the United States. Ama yetli means United States. Ashkaya. Ashkaya, Ashkaya, man, Ashkaya, man. Agehya, Agehya, Agehya means woman. Agehya is woman. Nedon, Nedon, sun or the moon, Nedon. Okay. Wu we do le, wu we do le e, wu we do le e, or you can say wu we do le, means he walked around, and it indicates wu we do le means um, he walked around but he he came back, he didn't stay there. Um, he's not like when we in the in the case of Neil Armstrong, um, he's not still walking on the moon. Play um, wu we do le. Kanogishki. Kanogishki is a song. Kanogishki. Didi nogi means let's sing. So hopefully you can see that there are some similarities in the in the sounds. Kanogishki and didi nogi. That nogi indicates singing. So kanogishki is a song. Didi nogi means let's all of us sing. Okay, we learned some numbers today. We learned sawu, we learned tal, and we learned jong. Sawu, tal, jong. Sawu, tal, jong. One, two, and three. So you can also say sawu, tal, li, jong, i. Sawu, tal, li, jong, i. One, two, three. But usually in spoken Cherokee, we just leave the i off. And we just say sawu tal jong. O si o. O si o means hello. And then, of course, the short way of saying that, um, which we learned in the song, is si o. Si o. Ginali. Ginali. Ginali means you and I are friends. Ginali means you and myself are friends. Uh, in Cherokee, we don't really have a way of saying, like, he is my friend or you are my friend. 
it's a, a reciprocal, when we say it in Turkey, it's a reciprocal relationship. Ginali indicates that I'm your friend and you're my friend too. So um, it goes both ways um, uh, whenever we, we use that word in our language. Okay? Geseşti. Geseşti means it will be. Geseşti. Ginali geseşti. It will be that you and I are friends. So that's a way of saying, let's be friends. Okay? Then we have uno sele, uno sele. He or she told him or her. Michael uno sele, Jane. Michael told Jane, right? Geolig, geolig, geolig means I know him or her, or it can also be like I recognize somebody. Um, this is the, we use a different word if you know, if it's like to know facts, you know. This is used only for knowing people or recognizing them or knowing who they are. Uh, Geolik. Adaha, adaha, adaha means wooden, wooden. Next one. Kanusadud, kanusadud. It's something used in place of a leg. Something used in place of the egg. Ganesa did. Son or son i. Son or son i. Means other. And then kanushkin. Kanushkin. Or you can say kanushkini. Kanushkini. Um, and that means a leg. So um, if we could um, uh, put the camera on me for just a second. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll review. And I'm going to teach you guys some, um, some gestures to go to help you remember some of these words. So um, because like I said, um, there's, there have been studies that, that show that gestures and movement um, also um, are tied to our language. And, and so that's why a lot of people, myself included, use our hands a lot when we talk uh, because the, the, the two are connected to each other in the brain, okay? So um, we'll go ahead and um, learn yes, uh, uh. For yes, um, in my classes, when I teach my classes, I usually uh, teach them a thumbs up for uh, uh. And then, of course, the opposite of that, no, pla, 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 uh, pla, uh, pla. Okay? So, is my name, da wadong, point to yourself, and then take two fingers and tap them on each other, da wadong, da wadong. Wade is my name in Cherokee. Wade is my name in English. So, of course, you point to the other person and tap your fingers. Uh, in Cherokee, a lot of, a lot of older folks, um, when I was growing up, uh, I was always not... I was always taught not to point at people with my finger like like that. And so um, when we do de to and you point to somebody else, uh, you use your palm open. So de to don, right? So if you want to ask the question, what is your name? Kato usti de to don. Kato usti de to don. What is your name? And then we learned do don, do don his or her name. You can point away, do, don, do, don, okay? So um, uh, we're gonna learn a little bit of ASL as well. So ASL um, will, will also help you. Um, 
not everything that I teach, not all the gestures that I teach will be a ASL, so, but, um, but a lot of them are. And so this is, is one example. Agehya. Agehya means woman. Agehya. Agehya. Now, if you want to say man, ashkaya. 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 So it starts at the forehead and comes here. Agehya starts at the chin and comes down to the chest. So, agehya, ashkaya. Agehya, ashkaya. Ashkaya, agehya. Okay? So, if we were going to ask our questions again, kata usti du ton agei first, agei, um, uka wi yuhi. Amayetli, uga wi yuhi. Amayetli, uga wi yuhi. Amayetli. So I'm going to ask the question. Kata usti tu to na agahi. Uga wi yuhi, amayetli. Do we remember? George Washington. George Washington, du to. George Washington, du to. Agahi, uga wi yuhi. Amayetli. Agui ugui yuhi. Amayetli. George Washington. Do don't. The next question. Gata usti do don't. Na agui agehya. Agehya woman. Ugui yuhi. Chalaki ayetli. Gata usti do don't. Na agui agehya uga wi yuhi chalagi ayetli. And if we remember, Wilma Mankiller, Wilma Mankiller, du don agui agehya uga wi yuhi chalagi ayetli. Okay? And then the last question that we did, we said, kata usti du don. Agui ashkaya nado nado mim can remember can be one of two things nado jiwu we do lei jiwu we do lei walking around okay kato usti tu to agui ashkaya nado jiwu we do lei so um, you might have noticed that there's an extra sound in there than, than when we did our notes. Wu we do le, wu we do le. That G in there means that or which or who. So kata usti tu to akui askaya na to ji wu we do le. What is the name of the first man that walked? on the sun or on the moon. Tlakilo, um, nobody <laughs> walked on the sun. But Neil Armstrong, do don't. Neil Armstrong, do don't. Agui askaya ne do wu we do le. Good. He walked on the, the moon. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. Kata usti, kata usti, dawa don. Kata usti, dawa don. Yonegi gante. Kata usti, dawa don. Yonegi gante. What is my name in English? Wade. Wade, dawa don. Yonegi gante. Chalagi gante na. Kata usti tawa don. Chalagi ganti na kata usti tawa don. In Cherokee, what's my name? If you remember, unole, unole tawa don. Chalagi ganti. Good. All right. Then we learned our song, right? So our song, we will review one more time. CO. CO, kata usti de tsetong. Then we'll sing all that part again. CO, CO, kata usti de tsetong. And then you point to yourself and you say your name. So, Wade, 
Dawadon, or I could say Unole, Dawadon, Unole, Dawadon. The last part, Kinali, what is Kinali? Kinali, friends, Ge Seesti. It will be, so let's be friends. Kinali, Ge Seesti. Good. So, um, Didi Nogi, let's sing. Sawu, Tal, Jong. Sio, Sio, Gado Usti de Jadon. Sio, Sio, Gado Usti de Jadon. Uno le da wadon, Uno le da wadon. Ginali ge sesti. Good. Okay, so um, you can teach the younger people in your family, you can teach them this song. It's a really easy way to. Um, start teaching them a little bit of Cherokee is, is through songs. And we'll learn several songs throughout the, the, um, this um, Cherokee course. Um, and you can take those and you can use them um, uh, with the younger people uh, in, in your family or people in your community or, or um, whatever. And then I also taught you a joke, right? <laughs> so um, I, guess, uh, I guess the word joke could be used uh, loosely. Um, so it says, uh, Michael, uno se le jane, geolig askaya sawu adaha, ganesated smith du don. Michael, uno se le jane, geolig askaya sawu adaha, ganesated smith du don. Jane Udane Katausti do don Katausti do don Son Kanaskani Son, this is other Son Kanaskani Michael Uno Sele Jane Gioli Gaskaya Sawu Ada Ha Kanasat Smith do don Jane Utane katusti tu do so e kanaskani. All right. So now uh, today you have learned um, quite a bit. We learned how to talk about ourselves. We learned how to introduce ourselves both in English and in Cherokee. Uh, we also uh, learned a song. Uh, as well as learned a joke. So uh, that, that's pretty impressive for your, your very first um, class. Uh, so here at the end, I want to talk a little bit about communities and dialect. Um, our, our language um, recently, uh, they have declared us a state of emergency for our language, which means that our language is in danger of dying out. Um, I am not myself a first language speaker. Uh, my grandfather, uh, Dolphus Blevins de Gesa, he was a, a first language speaker. Uh, I grew up um, around my language, but I am a second language learner, um, meaning I'm, I'm still learning my language. Um, uh, so I, I think in, in English, but I'm, I'm doing uh, my best to, to learn um, the language that my grandpa spoke. So. Um, but they declared a state of emergency for the, the, the Cherokee language, um, meaning that our language is dying out. Most of our speakers are over the age of 50. So um, within 20 or 30 years, we, we won't have any first language speakers left. Um, when I was, uh, again, when I was a kid, then, and this is why it's so important that, um, that you learn and, and why I'm so thankful that you're, you're watching this class. And, um, when I was a kid growing up, I knew several people in my community um, who didn't speak any English at all. All they spoke was Cherokee. Um, and um, this year, our, the, the last monolingual speaker of Cherokee passed away. So we have no more Cherokee-only speakers left. Um, but we do have about 2,000 um, first language speakers left. Um, but all of them are, most of them are above the age of 50. So within 20 or 30 years, uh, that number will dwindle down to, to just a handful. 
uh, of speakers that we have left. So that's why it's so important that uh, you, you learn our language and you use our language uh, to the best of your ability. Um, I'm from Delaware County and our dialect is a little bit different. There are several different dialects. Um, and we talked about that a little bit as we went over our notes. We talked a little bit about uh, different ways to say things. And as we go through the course, I'll try to indicate, you know, well, in some communities, they're going to they're gonna say it this way. In other communities, you might hear it like this. Um, but uh, I, I, I relate that to, to English. You know, um, I speak English. And even though I was born and raised here in Oklahoma, I can understand uh, an English speaker from Georgia even though they, they talk a little different. Uh, I can understand a, an English speaker from, from Canada. Um, you know, I can understand an English speaker from, say, Boston. But they all speak English a little bit differently. And then if you go across and you go to uh, Australia or uh, England, Ireland or Scotland, you know, their, their English is, is even more different, right? And it's the same with our language. Each community kind of has its own way of, of speaking our language, and, and um, we, have, we have our own dialects is what we call them. We call them dialects, but we can still understand one another. So the words that I'm teaching you here, um, it may not be the same way that the people in your community might say it or something like that, but they're going to know what you said. They're going to they're gonna understand you. Um, and the more you use the language and the more you're around it and the more you are around Cherokee speakers, the more um, you will start to understand what other people are saying as well. So I do want to say thank you for um, attending, uh, for uh, listening in on this very first uh, Cherokee language class here. And, and so uh, we're going to have uh, hopefully a lot of fun. And, and each time I'll try to bring a song or we'll do a joke or we'll do a small story. Um, because the more you hear our language, the more you're going to understand it. And you have to understand the language before you can speak it. So um, with, uh, with that, I'm going to say, which means we're done. And which means until we see each other again. Don't dog go, huh? What don't?